top saddle club in the state. So there's not really any other experience like the saddle club. And we're completely run by our members. So no one actually owns a saddle club. It's in a land trust. And so it really makes you learn how all the horsemanship works. There's no grooms or anything. You tack up your own horse, you clean the stalls, you dump the buckets, everything. I ride about six or seven days a week and I do lessons three times a week here. And then I take care of this horse seven days a week. Sometimes I help out with other people's horses like riding or taking care of them. I have two lessons a week. My trainer has two lessons a week, and then she has two off days or just two just trail riding days. Well, on the ground, we could usually walk them around the property. Um, we could go into the arenas and ride around a little bit. We also can graze them and do trail riding. We're doing a campaign because we have a caretaker's cottage in the corner of the property and the people that used to live there would feed all the horses for us and throw all the hay at certain times of day. And there was a fire there and a lot of the house was damaged and the property is damaged. So we've been trying to raise money to repair that cottage and it's a historical landmark. And we're doing this campaign called Carrots for Cottage. And you can buy carrots and feed the horses the carrots and all the profits will go towards the cottage repair fund. Since we're a co-op, we have to work together a lot more than other barns who are privately owned. We have work parties and we have to fix up the property, pull the weeds, all of that type of thing. And I think it brings us all together to have a common goal to work towards.